Okay, univariate data basically means there is one variable. And because there is one variable, um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff that just deals with regular statistics. So uh, there are a couple Greek letters that you're going to need to know first. One of them is this, and this is mu, M-U. And basically it means the mean. It's the average. The other one you're going to need to know is this. It looks like a six that got knocked over. And uh, this is called sigma. It's a lowercase sigma. And it is the standard deviation Now there is another standard deviation as well, and it's also and it's uh, S, and it's also standard deviation, and um, it deals with the population of an entire group. If we know the population, the entire population that we're dealing with, then we'll use S. If we're trying to make conjectures based on a sampled population, we'll use this. For example, if they're taking a poll about whether or not people like the president, you know, presidential approval ratings. Obviously, they can't poll everybody in America, so they're going to use this. However, if you're going to ask a question of every student at Ashborough High School, you'll use this one because you've asked everyone. That'll come in handy later on in the paper. So you'll see on the paper there is a normal, cur normal curve, kind of hard to say, but there's a normal curve, and um, it kind of shows how data is distributed when it's distributed normally. I mean, it can be skewed one way or the other. Let me see if I can draw this. Okay, not too bad. There's one in the middle that's incredibly important, and this is the median. And in this case, because it's distributed normally, notice it's symmetric, because it's distributed Normally, um, not only is it the median, it is also the mean, mu. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, partition off separate, separate pieces of this, and we're going to put one here, and we're going to put one about here. I'm just kind of making up where they go, but they're about, they are evenly spaced. And this is the standard deviation and mu, mu plus one standard deviation, and this is mu minus one standard deviation. We're going to put another one here. This is the mean plus two standard deviations. We'll put another one here. And this is the mean plus three standard deviations. Mean minus two standard deviations. And the mean minus three standard deviations. You're probably wondering how all this comes in handy. So let's just kind of break it down for you. 50% of your data, of all the people you asked, 50% of them are going to be from here up. And it kind of makes sense. If these were IQ scores, 50 people are above average, or 50% are above average, 50% are below average. Now the standard deviations helps you break it down even further. 34% each of the population is going to go here, which means this is going to be 68%. 95% of the population is within two standard deviations. And the vast, vast majority, 99.7% of the population is within three standard deviations. So let's, let's section this off a little bit. This is 34% of the population falls in this range, and 34 falls in this range. If you notice, obviously, that's half of 68. Thirteen and a half percent falls here, and thirteen and a half percent falls here. Two point three five percent falls here, and two point three five percent falls here. Now, if you want to get technical, we can go even further with it, and um, we can keep going out several more standard deviations. But it's going to get really technical. So anything beyond three standard deviations is very small. That is point one five percent here, and. 
0.15% here. 